it's probably time for a little update on the Roadrunner, if anybody's watching. The latest installment, I have stripped a lot out of the engine bay. A lot of little blue tape, you'll see. That's Mark's things, notes for me, weld this hole. Uh, some things don't need to be marked, like uh, stress cracks, popped sheet metal needs to be worked on. Um, the, probably the, the bulk of the work I've been needing to do is right here. You're looking at the firewall uh, where the master cylinder hangs. You can kind of see the master cylinder hanging off there to the left. Um, we're looking at a, let's see if I can get it to zoom in there. Yeah, we're looking at all that area there that's green is factory holes with the exception of the hole to the right. And that hole is something new. And we'll get to that. Uh, that black piece you see is an adapter that bolts onto the factory holes and puts this kind of master cylinder on your firewall. Uh, I did away with power stuff a while back because my cam was too lumpy and it didn't have enough vacuum to run it. And uh, in the beginning I had, when I bought the car, I had this setup on it, which is a, uh, Hydraulic throwout bearing, clutch, hydraulic, uh, I don't know what you want to call that, but it's hydraulic, it runs a clutch, and uh, in big B bodies, you need that. Uh, there's not a lot of room under them. Once you start putting headers in there, it's uh, it's it's a mess, and it's just not that much fun. Uh, this These things are great, and they're adjustable, and uh, I don't know who made this kit. It was on the car when I bought it. It was part of a B&M, which... Should tell you how old it is. BM's been bought out for a while now. But uh, it was part of a BM kit that had the uh, that had the transmission, the TKO 600 um, drive shaft, and all that stuff already with it. Uh, this particular spot here, if you're looking at, um, this is where it actually attached to the clutch pedal, and then this is the firewall. This here is a little stopper for your clutch pedal to keep you over from, I guess, over stroking your hydraulic throw hydraulic master and then uh, all that business works a hydraulic throw out bearing on your clutch these are okay uh, but you'll notice that i'm no longer running power brakes and i didn't really like that setup it was kind of uh it was a compromise for those that want power brakes i don't want power brakes i don't like them so i took all that stuff off so now i have the advantage of going straight at the back of the clutch arm right through the firewall. And I can do that without spending a lot of money. Uh, the last, this is this is what we're gonna use. Uh, it's just a standard Willwood um, uh, clutch master cylinder. They're not ridiculously expensive. I think I paid about a hundred bucks for this. It doesn't have the, uh, doesn't have this on it yet, but uh, we'll, We'll get there when I figure out how much that stuff's going to coexist well together or not. But if you see, if you can kind of reverse engineer that, you can see the footprint of the master cylinder. And I put a uh, braided line on it so I can move it around quite a bit after the fact. So kind of, I'm not sure if I knew this was coming, but I didn't think I was done here. So uh, after I get all this fabbed up and we're, we'll be done, uh, I'll take all that apart and we'll make it pretty again. But that's the update and that's what we're doing right now. So hopefully... Sometime soon, it'll be back, or at least be stripped and ready for paint. Yes, I said paint. What? Tease. All right, there it is, the finished product. Um, this is the engine bay side. So you'll see, and I can't do this with one hand, but you'll see the master cylinder Clutch master cylinder goes through that hole, mounts the firewall, and then the brake, the brake master cylinder will go here. And they're narrow enough that they'll share that real estate pretty nice. The uh, the next issue I have to tackle, put some light on me, is massaging the firewall just a hair. And you can see there's a body line. See where those two holes are. There's a body line right in the middle of it that will kind of interrupt its ability to kind of sandwich that whole area and really pull into the structural integrity. What there is, 
of the structural integrity of the sheet metal on the firewall, which this whole thing needs to be fairly solid. So I'm going to try and do that. I'll probably flatten those out a little bit in that area to try and get it to grab that area and maybe even reinforce it a bit. I'm not sure yet, but uh, I'll think about it and see how that goes. And put that in here in a second. So part of the process, there's a little hint of how things are going. Looks like they're snuggling in quite nicely. A little more on that later. But make it a template to mount the line lock in this little teeny spot underneath here. And it's kind of a pain in the ass to scratch out a typical plate. So I came up with some I didn't come up with, I've had this for a while. I used to get made fun of a lot. I was a fixture maker at a lighting plant at one time. And the guys used to make fun of me for making paper dollies. So now everybody's doing it. We hack up a pizza box and make templates. Well, something like that anyway. Well, sometimes a template, you need the back side of it. You need to mark it. So this is what the plate needs to look like overall. This is what I started with. A rough shape I drew the shape of the line lock onto it but the firewall I want the plate I want the line lock hole to go through the plate hole through the existing hole in the firewall and it's there's an easy way of doing it you just take a piece of tape and lay it over it bigger than the than the template and then you take the tapes actually on the firewall itself and then you mark your holes on the firewall which I did here, and you gently peel that tape off, and then you lay it over your scratch piece, or your piece, your blank, and then you've got a nice little spot right there where you know it's gonna line up. So I can take that and this and line it up outside the car so I know the holes are gonna line up without making uh, Swiss cheese out of my firewall, because there's enough holes in it already, and I'm trying to use the existing factory stuff as much as I can, but. I don't know, it saved me a lot of time doing stuff like this. And, uh, you know, this is kind of the, the way we get things done. So we'll keep working on it. And there we have the finished, well, roughed in product. You get a better view of that here in a bit. But the idea was to cover that hole and not make it look too ghetto. And I don't want to weld it shut because, well, who knows who or what I'll be doing with this car. Or, I don't know. You never know the future. And that's the relationship to the master cylinder and the clutch master cylinder, which they're a bit snug, but they fit. And I'm good with it. If you had power brakes on this car, it wouldn't work. Because obviously your, your power brake booster would take up a lot of real estate that wouldn't they wouldn't coexist well. You might be able to get away with moving that brake cylinder down, brake cylinder, the clutch cylinder down and out of the circumference of the booster, but I don't know, and I'm not messing with it because I don't like power brakes. So that's it, that's where it's at, and uh, everything's looking good. I'll probably start wiring, um, wiring. I'll probably start plumbing for my fuel, um, maybe some fuel issues that I've been dealing with, and. Uh, brake lines I'm gonna get rid of that factory brake line there and this junction business down here the factory junction block or distribution block that was here um, you can see I've got a, a proportioning valve there since I've swapped the front brakes and gone to something entirely different uh, I really don't need that rear distribution valve the only thing it really does for me is turn on my brake light um, in the dash which I don't need so I took it out. I don't think it's doing a great job. It's taking up a lot of room and it's ugly. So trying to simplify things, but there it is so far.